Hey, good day everyone. Today we're going to see how to do the FPS in the top left corner. So it's pretty quick. So the first thing we're going to need to do is going to our widget odd. So we're going to go right in it and we need to get a text. So we're going to search for text here in the palette and we're just going to drag our text right there. We're going to make sure it's size to content and you can do now we're just going to write the little code to make that change to show our FPS. So on the text blocks here, we're just going to create a binding. So create binding and we're going to move that out of the way. I'm going to make sure that I name that get FPS and from get FPS here, we're just going to create a variable. So create a FPS variable integer, right? Because we want a number from one, two, three, four, and so on. We don't want, you know, point number, decimal number. So like a float. So we're going to take an integer. We're going to drag our integer right there. And we're just going to need to drag from the return value here so we can get access to our format text. And we need to plug this right here in the format text. So as you probably see in other videos, so we write FPS, right? And we're going to open those bracket and we're going to put our FPS uh, input and close the bracket. So we get access to the input right there. So we can plug it there and compile. And now we can go back to our event graph and contrary to this logic that we want just that to happen once in a while, we want the frame rate to be displayed every frame. So we're going to search for even thick or tick, sorry. And we're going to drag from uh, the event tick here and we're going to set our FPS. So drag and just search for set FPS. And from that, we're going to search for a tricade. Never know how to pronounce that. So to get a number from zero. So as you can see here, it's round the number to zero. So we're going to need this and we're going to drag from our delta time and we're going to divide this by one and we're going to plug it right there. So now if we go and play, you can see that the FPS on the top corner, right? So they're showing there, but showing zero because you need to make sure that this is like this and it should be all good. And if there's a thing we have to put a delay, you know, because you can see here, if we don't put delay, it's really, really hard to, to read, right? So if we're going to fire here, it's going to go down. You see, you can barely read the number. So if you want to be able to read a number, you can put a delay here. A delay of like, you know, every one second, if you want. It's going to wait one second and it's going to update, right? But it's really, really slow. So if you want that a little bit faster, you know, every... 0.5 seconds maybe it's going to be good for you so we're going to compile that and play so now you can see it's a little bit better it's easier to read but if you want it a little bit faster but still able to read it you can put 0 0.05 i'm going to compile now you see it's not too bad it's a little bit easier it's not easier to read but you know it's updated a little bit more frequently so that's pretty good so i'm going to leave it as 0.5 so that's pretty much that how you show FPS in your game. So you can put that instead of putting in a HUD, you could put it on your map or you can put it on your character. You put it wherever you want your code. You can put it anywhere. It's, it's not really a big deal. Just make sure that you can get access to an event tick and you should be all set and good to go. So it's working now. So I'll catch you in the next one.